Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can back up your Steam library to a separate location. So this can be useful for two cases and especially one case for me. Um, the first case is you just want to be safe that you're not going to lose any progress you have in your game. So you could do that on a few of your games. But in my case, I'm going to be backing up my entire Steam library into a uh, folder on a different hard drive. Then uninstalling Steam and reinstalling it. Uh, and then re-importing it back into Steam. So that's my scenario at the moment. So I'm going to show you how you can back it up just in case you've got to do this. Because uh, one of my hard drives is very full. What I run Steam on, so I need to transfer it. I've just got a delivery from Amazon today with a new hard drive. So I'm going to transfer everything now. So let's get on with the tutorial. So first of all, you need to click on Steam, then go down to Backup and Restore Games. So we're going to back up the current installed programs. And now we're going to click on all of these. So these are all the games I currently have installed on my computer. Half of them I don't actually play, I must be honest. <laughs> it was quite a shame. Uh, there we go but they are useful when you want to play the odd game there you go massive Star Wars collection there keep going and there we go so, so you got everything so that's just under half a, um, half a terabyte that nearly is so we're gonna press next and then we're gonna select a new location for the um, backups so I've already made a folder on the new hard drive and that's the uh, hard drive D so we're going to select that one. Uh, yep, that's everything okay there. So then, so this is a three terabyte hard drive, so there's plenty of space to stick the games back on it. So we're going next. Now you need to click on the file format. Now most people go for DVDs, but I'm going to go for custom because I'm downloading so many. If it's only one or two games, are very small. Because if I if I have um you know just CD, uh, it's going to make a three hundred ninety six files will be created. If I have a DVD what's 4.7 gigs it's going to make uh you know 58 files but i can make one custom one right then i'm going to allocate over half a terabyte so i've decided on 600,000, and uh, we're just going to click next so that's going to start doing the transfers and uh it's pretty much a waiting game now so i will be back once this is finished Right then, the backup has finished, so it has took over eight hours to back up my entire Steam library. So I highly recommend to definitely do it overnight. <laughs> so that, that's a major suggestion uh, if you are going to go and do this later on. Uh, but now we're done, so we'll open the file, and as you can see here, the all everything I've downloaded is in this one file. It's all compressed and everything like that. So then, now we can click finished. And all we need to do is uninstall Steam and then reinstall it on a new location. So I'm going to do that off camera and then uh, when I'm ready we'll come back and uh, we'll get to it. Right then, Steam has finished uninstalling it. Now we need to re-download it and reinstall it. So uh, I'm on the Steam website. I've already downloaded the installer. And all we need to do is click on that and begin to run it. So it will uh, prompt you saying, do you want to run this application? You probably can't see that on the video. Um, but just press yes. Now we need to just go through the install guide. So we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. If you'd like, go ahead and read them. Uh, English. And now this is the most important bit. We actually need to choose the new location. So we don't want to install it onto the old location. We need to install it onto the new location. So now we're going to go to browse. Go to this PC and choose a new hard drive. So I've got a new one called Game. And then we're going to choose the Steam folder I've already made up. So there's our backup and there's a new Steam folder. Now I've saved that in there and all I need to do is a install. And that's going to install it into this file as you can see here, all done. Click Finish and it will uh, update Steam because there will be an update to it. Uh, we'll be ready to re-import all our games. So then. I will come back once we're signed in and ready to import. Right then, Steam has finished installing, so now we're ready to re-import all our games back into the Steam library. So as you can see here, they are currently all uninstalled and uh, time to reinstall them, or re-import them, I should really say. So as usual, go to Steam and go back to the same setting or the same option, uh, backup and restore games. And instead of backing up, we're going to reinstall games this time. So we need to actually choose where the backup is. So it's already selected. I will double make sure that is in the right place. 
so um, it's that steam nope we want to click on that one so make sure you click on the right ones and that's all we want to click on right there select and then next and all of them are selected what we want to and then we're going to install on D what is our new hard drive in Steam and all we need to do is click agree oh, there's a lot of agrees this might have to be blurred just to let you know just in case so I'm just going to keep clicking agree and there we go they are all ready to be reinstalled so then once this is finished reinstalling I will be back right then guys it is done so it took a very very long time from one thing I can take away from this um, experience is only select the games you you actually got data on because I thought it backs everything up but it actually only backs up um, the important data of that game and then downloads the rest of the game from what I can see so there is some downloading involved still from um, what I've seen, you know, why this has been doing its restoring and stuff. So just keep that in mind. So only select the games what you actually crucially need to keep the data on it because that will speed up the process. Um, absolutely, you'll just speed it up completely. But anyway, guys, hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Make sure you subscribe, like, go and follow me on Twitter. And if you want any other tutorials, please ask down below in the comments and I see what I can do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.